Welcome to the Arcticat Ultimate Factory Tour. I'm Claude Jordan, CEO of Arcticat. Today, we're going to take an insider's view to what's going on at Arcticat. For starters, we'll take a look at the engine dyno room. We'll then take a look at the engineering prototype department. Next, we'll take a look at our styling process where we develop our ATVs, snowmobiles, and our brand new Wildcat. Finally, we'll watch from start to finish the assembly process of our snowmobiles and ATVs. We're extremely proud of our factory and our people, so enjoy the Arctic Cat Ultimate Factory Tour. Let's start in the engineering department. Dynamometers are used to develop and refine engine technology. In the engine dyno room, we precisely measure and compare performance at different points on a vehicle to help us deliver the most efficient power transfer. Design engineers at Arctic Cat use advanced tools like 3D imaging software. Then they turn to the stereolithography or SLA machine, which turns a CAD drawing into a 3D prototype in short order. Or the Dimension 3D printer, which does the same thing for smaller parts using different technology. Arctic Cat engineers use these advanced tools as they work on styling the next generation of vehicles. They keep abreast of market trends and what's happening in our own and related power sports industries. We're always striving to develop vehicles that are better than our current ones and better than what the competition has to offer. That kind of thinking is what drove the development of the brand new Wildcat, which you'll be hearing and seeing more about soon. We use a sophisticated noise, vibration and harshness or NVH lab, which includes an anechoic or no echo chamber. This special room precisely measures the sounds and vibrations produced by our vehicles. It's all part of our effort to analyze and improve our products. For example, we work on getting the sound quality just right so that the sounds made by a performance machine or a touring machine match up with a customer's expectations. Now let's take a look at the world-class manufacturing operation here at Arctic Cat. First, we'll look at those functions that apply to all three product assembly lines. There are 27 receiving docks at the plant in Thief River Falls, Minnesota, and they're busy places, receiving up to 700,000 parts a day. One of the common elements across all three assembly lines is a continuous focus on quality. For example, every vehicle has a flow sheet that accompanies the vehicle through the assembly process. Any employee is empowered to note on the flow sheet if there is any defect. And if anything is found to be wrong, it must be fixed and the fix signed off on the flow sheet. There are six computer numerical control or CNC machines in the plant, which enable us to produce customized parts with great accuracy. We also get a high degree of precision with our CNC tube bending machine. This is how we make our own handlebars and steering posts for snowmobiles and the entire chassis for our ATVs and prowlers. Clutches are a high RPM part and their balance needs to be finely tuned. We custom program gauges to our unique specifications. We make all the foam for our snowmobile and ATV seats. We paint about 50,000 parts every week. Some go through this low temp paint line, which includes a seven stage wash system before e-coating is applied. E-coating uses an electric charge to deposit the coating evenly over the surface of the part. Some parts get e-coated for corrosion protection. Other parts also get powder coating for UV and chip protection and a high gloss finish. Instead of multiple powder coating booths, we now have a single rolling booth that moves where we need it. Here is where we apply the accent colors. This saves time and reduces the amount of parts handling required. This robot can be programmed to do a lot of different jobs. Here it applies self-piercing rivets. Every vehicle goes through a thorough electronic diagnostic test to make sure everything is properly calibrated. The green light indicates that the vehicle has passed the test. Okay, let's see the three assembly lines in action. There are over 1,200 parts in a snowmobile, and putting those parts together starts here, in the snow pre-assembly area. Here, larger components, such as steering posts, clutches, and gas tanks, are pre-assembled. 
Flexibility is essential in skid assembly. There are over 100 parts in a skid, and each model has a different skid, so we need to be able to switch between models quickly. Suspension components are sub-assembled and then assembled here. A DC tool verifies that we have the right torque and angle on each joint. At the end of the line, another scan checks all the DC tools to confirm that everything has been done to that specific vehicle that was supposed to be done. Here, the snowmobile pods are assembled on a carousel. Hoods go on as the snowmobiles take on a recognizable appearance. We cut and sew our own snowmobile seat covers. At this station, the vehicle fluids are added, engine oil, brake fluid, and coolant. We can build as many as 350 snowmobiles a day with about 260 hard-working people. The average seniority for all our employees is 12 years, and we're proud of that. Each snowmobile gets a final quality control check before it is put on a conveyor to be crated. Lights, engine sound, gauges, and the overall function of each unit is verified. Every 90 minutes, we take one snowmobile and give it a very detailed quality audit check. We take the vehicle apart to check torques, alignment, everything to make sure we did it right. It's a quality double check. We heat treat the surface, then apply decals for each product. Every vehicle we make goes to the run-up booth for testing before it's created. Now, let's move to the ATV line. Remember, all our vehicles start with a flow sheet. The drive components go on, then the gear cases and the engines, which come from our plant in St. Cloud, Minnesota. There are 40 robotic welding cells in the plant. Here, a rotary robot welds ATV mufflers. Then, they are powder coated to withstand extreme high temperatures, up to 1500 degrees. Consistency is the key when robots apply welds. Each ATV frame has about 500 inches of weld. At full capacity, we are applying over six miles of weld each day. Our ATV A-arms are welded here by an elevated Ferris wheel robot. We leak check every coolant component. Vinyl seats are molded to fit the form, then stapled. No cutting and sewing required. We can make up to 325 ATVs a day. Here, the fenders have been put on and the front and rear racks. They are looking like finished ATVs at this point, except for the tires, which go on last. The finishing touches are applied. After the tires go on, each ATV gets a test drive on the rolling road dyno. We check the tires, the feel and sound of the engine, gears and exhaust, the lights and gauges. And then, the finished ATVs are created for shipment to Articat dealers and customers. And here's the Prowler side-by-side -side line. The Prowler assembly has a lot in common with the ATV line, except that it's a much larger product and the parts are more bulky. We can produce as many as 80 Prowlers a day. The engines come from our St. Cloud plant. We use high-tech DC tools that tell us exactly the torque and degree for each joint that is tightened. There are 14 DC tools in use across three assembly lines. The finishing touches go on. Every vehicle on all three assembly lines is scanned by VIN number to make sure assembly is complete. If it all checks out, the screen shows a green smiley face. We're extremely proud of the 1,100 employees at our plant here in Thief River Falls and the employees at our St. Cloud engine plant. Every day, they prove that Arctic Cat vehicles are built right, right here. Some 5,000 truckloads of quality snowmobiles, ATVs, and Prowler side-by-sides leave the plant each year, traveling over 5 million miles on their way to dealers and customers around the world. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed taking the Arctic Cat Ultimate Factory Tour.